What's up, Sky Watchers? What is up indeed? December 31st, 2024. The Fog. I'm sure most of you have heard about the fog plaguing a large part of the country in Europe, and now I'm hearing about people getting sick after experiencing the fog. I've even heard about strange smells associated with this fog. Is it connected? All right, let me know what you guys are experiencing. So it's about to get real cold. I've even heard possible snow in Florida. The polar vortex should be locked into position at the poles. What could cause the polar vortex to dip down to mid-latitudes? Heating the ionosphere with facilities like HARP and ISCAT can affect the polar vortex by influencing the atmospheric tides and circulation patterns in the mesosphere and the lower thermosphere region which are directly linked to the strength and stability of the polar vortex, especially during sudden stratospheric warming events. Exactly one year ago at the end of December, we had a sudden stratospheric warming event, and we saw an anomaly in the stratosphere at 84,000 feet, a heat signature disrupting the polar vortex. This anomaly was situated directly above ISCAT ionospheric heating facility in the Arctic Circle. These facilities are located in Norway, Finland, and Sweden. Essentially, a heated ionosphere can disrupt the normal atmosphere dynamics, leading to a weaker polar vortex by altering the atmospheric waves upwards from the troposphere. This will cause the cold Arctic air to rush down, bringing winds and sub-zero temperatures, creating an Arctic blast. Looking ahead to next week, by January 8th, the polar vortex will be dipping south. We could have a very large mid-latitude cyclone with the possibility of a major east coast blizzard. Alright my friends, if you're celebrating the end of 2024, be safe and I will see you in 2025. Okay Skywatchers, stay aware, be prepared, and until next time, keep looking up.